let us first study the history of vitamins. Sailors of 18th century knew that eating of liver cures night blindness and eating of lemon cures scurvy and also discovered that eating cod liver oil cures rickets. But they did not know what actually the substance in them curing the disease is. In the beginning of this century, it was clearly understood that the diets containing carbohydrates, proteins, fats and minerals are not the reasons for these natural foods to cure the diseases. Sir H. G. Hopkins in 1912 coined the term accessory factors to this substance after doing systematic studies on milk which has some substances required for growth. In the year 1913, Funk isolated an active principle from rice polishing and in yeast which would cure beriberi. He coined the term vitamin to these accessory factors which means a vital amine with a belief that all of them are amines. It was realized that many substances perform vitamin functions but all of them does not contain amine structures. Hence the term vitamin however is continued without the final letter E. We shall now define vitamin though it is difficult to define vitamins precisely. Vitamins may be regarded as organic compounds required in the diet in small amounts to perform specific biological functions for normal maintenance of optimum growth and health of all organisms. It is clear from the definition that the vitamins are not synthesized in the body. However, the bacteria of the gut can produce some of the vitamins required by man and animals. However, diet is the primary source of vitamins. A vitamin does not provide any energy for the growth of the organisms. Vitamins are normally present in all kinds of foods like milk, meat, fruits, vegetables. Based on the solubility of vitamins, they are classified into fat soluble vitamins which includes vitamins A, D, E, K, water soluble vitamins, these are vitamins B complex and vitamin C. Let us start with water soluble vitamins. Some of you might have taken by now B-complex vitamins especially during fever as a supportive medication. Did you ever see backside of the tablet strip of B-complex? Yes, what does this complex group vitamins include? It includes a complex mixture of vitamins. Vitamin B1 also called thiamine, vitamin B2 called riboflavin, vitamin B3, niacin, vitamin B6, pyridoxin, pantothenic acid, folic acid, biotin, cyanocobalamin. Let us now study them individually starting with thiamine. Thiamine is also called as vitamin B1 or anti-beriberi vitamin because deficiency of vitamin B1 causes a disease called beriberi. The main dietary sources of vitamin B1 are cereals, pulses, oil seeds, nuts and yeast. Rice and dal are the major source of thiamine for adults while the milk is a source for children. Thiamine is lost when we throw away the water in which rice is boiled or when rice is repeatedly washed. Early symptoms of beriberi include loss of appetite, weakness, constipation, vomiting, mental depression, convulsions, etc. Numbness in the legs and weakness in the calf muscles, paralysis are seen later in stages.
Riboflavin, also called as vitamin B2, is the first B complex vitamin which is separated as pure form. The coenzyme of riboflavin participate in oxidation reduction reactions, also called as redox reactions, in cellular respiration and also involved in carbohydrate fat protein metabolism. Milk and milk products, meat, eggs, liver, kidney are rich sources of B2 while vegetables, fruits are moderate sources. Deficiency of riboflavin includes glossitis, his tongue turns smooth and purplish, chiliosis, corners of the mouth show cracks, scaly skin, also person may show watering of eyes and may become photophobic. Niacin also called as nicotinic acid or vitamin B3 is the pellagra preventive vitamin. Pellagra is a disease characterized by three Ds dermatitis that is skin diseases, diarrhea and dementia which is loss of memory which is caused due to deficiency of niacin. Niacin in its coenzyme form acts in oxidation reduction reactions and also participates in carbohydrate, protein and fat metabolism. The chief sources of niacin are liver, yeast, whole grains, cereals, pulses like beans and peanuts. Pyridoxin, also called as vitamin B6, was isolated in 1938. Pyridoxal phosphate, PLP, the coenzyme of vitamin B6 is associated mainly in metabolism of amino acids and synthesis of an other amino acid dependent products. Animal sources such as egg yolk, fish, milk, meat are rich source. Pyridoxin deficiency is mainly associated with neurological symptoms like depression, irritability, confusion, convulsions in children. Also, anemia is seen in its deficiency. Nausea and vomiting may also be noticed. Folic acid, also called as folicin, is abundantly found in leafy vegetables, liver, kidney, meat, eggs, cereals, also show good amount. Milk is the poor source of folic acid. However, overcooking of food destroys folic acid. Folic acid coenzyme acts as a donor of one carbon unit in amino acid metabolism. Folic acid is required for synthesis of nucleus acids, DNA and RNA and for maturation of blood cells and bone marrow cells. Folic acid deficiency is the most common vitamin deficiency observed primarily in pregnant women. Its deficiency causes anemia and diarrhea. Cyanocobalanum is also called as vitamin B12. It is a unique vitamin synthesized by only microorganisms and not by any plants and animals. It is the last vitamin to be discovered. B12 is an important vitamin for metabolism of nuclei acids and proteins. B12 is stored in the liver. Most important disease associated with is pernicious anemia. It is characterized by low hemoglobin level and decrease in number of red blood cells. Panthothenic acid's main metabolic role is played by its coenzyme called coenzyme A. It is a central molecule involved in all metabolisms, that is, carbohydrates, fats and proteins. It is the most widely distributed vitamin in plants and animals. However, rich sources are milk, 
yeast, egg, liver, sweet potato, etc. Deficiency of pantothenic acid causes burning feet syndrome, that is, pain and numbness in toes, sleeplessness, etc. Biotin is previously called as vitamin B7. It is a sulfur containing vitamins. Biotin is required in many metabolic reactions, especially metabolism of sulfur containing amino acids and proteins. Rich sources of biotin are liver, kidney, eggs, yolk, meat, etc. Deficiency symptoms include anemia, loss of appetite, nausea, muscle pain, nervous disorders and depression. Deficiency is more common in people who take raw eggs. Vitamin C is a water soluble versatile vitamin. It plays an important role in human health and disease. It is also known as ascorbic acid. Vitamin C plays an important role in many of the reactions of the body. Let us list out some of them. Vitamin C plays an important role in collagen formation which is required for blood vessel cartilage, dentine formation and wound healing process. Vitamin C also helps in healing of fractures of bones. Vitamin C also helps in hemoglobin metabolism and storage of iron. Citrus fruits like lemon, amla, guava are a good source of vitamin C. Vegetables like tomato, cabbage etc. are also rich sources. Milk is a poor source of vitamin C. Deficiency of ascorbic acid causes scurvy. This disease is characterized by sore bleeding gums. Bleeding may also be seen near joints and under the skin. As mentioned earlier, these category of vitamins include vitamins A, D, E and K. We will discuss each vitamin individually. Let us start with vitamin A. Fat soluble vitamin A is chemically called as retinol. Vitamin A plays a very important role in the visual cycle, that is, it is required for the normal vision. Our eye possesses two types of cells, rods and cones. Rods are involved in dim light vision while cones are responsible for bright light vision and color vision. Rhodopsin, an important pigment which is used for vision is produced by vitamin A while Idopsin, which is for viewing green color present in cones, is the complex of vitamin A. Vitamin A also helps in growth of skeletal system and also for epithelial growth and cell growth. Many of your classmates may be wearing spectacles, which is a nowadays most common problem. Just ask your friend wearing glasses about the most common suggestion given to him regarding eyes. Lisa, what did the doctor suggest you to eat more frequently for your eye problem? He asked me to eat more of carrots and leafy vegetables. Yes, the most common answer heard by us is to eat carrot for good vision. Why is it so? Because in foods of plant origin, especially in carrots, tomatoes, pumpkin and leafy vegetables, vitamin A is present in the form of carotene which is converted into vitamin A in the liver of our body. Animal sources like liver, eggs, butter, whole milk, fish, oils extracted from fishes such as cod liver oil and shark liver oil are the richest sources of pure form of vitamin A.
deficiency of vitamin A is not immediate because vitamin A stored in liver can meet the requirement in the initial stages. The main deficiency manifestations are seen on eyes, skin and growth. Let us list out some of them. Night blindness. It is the earliest symptom of vitamin A deficiency. Individuals have difficulty to see in dim light. Xerophthalmia. Severe deficiency of vitamin results into xerophthalmia which is characterized by dryness of cornea of the eye as the tears are not produced by the lacrimal glands. If the xerophthalmia persists, the cornea undergoes destruction thus resulting into total blindness. Such type of blindness is due to lack of vitamin A in the diet hence called as nutritional blindness. Skin becomes dry and rough covered with papillae that is eruption. Vitamin A as previously said can be stored in liver for long time up to 6 to 9 months. Using this property the National Institute of Nutrition Hyderabad has started a program to prevent night blindness in school children by giving them large doses of vitamin A for every six months. Also children need to be encouraged to eat green leafy vegetables and carrots regularly. Vitamin D a fat soluble vitamin also called as calciferol. Vitamin D is synthesized in the skin on exposure to the sun this is mediated by cholesterol. Therefore cholesterol in foods is converted into vitamin D in the presence of sunlight. The main function of vitamin D is to maintain the levels of calcium and phosphate in the blood by absorbing them from the intestine and depositing them on the bone thus aiding in normal growth and development of bone. Good sources of vitamin D include fish liver oils and egg yolk. Vitamin D deficiency is relatively less common as it is synthesized in the body. But insufficient sunlight exposure and consumption of diet lacking in vitamin D may result in its deficiency. Deficiency of vitamin D leads to demineralization of bone resulting in rickets in children usually seen in children between 6 months to 2 years of age. Most characteristic feature of rickets in children is improper formation of leg bone thus resulting in bow shaped legs deform pelvis and knock knees that is both the knees touch each other in adults deficiency results in a condition called osteomalacia wherein the bones become very soft and hence break very easily vitamin E is naturally occurring antioxidant it is essential for normal reproduction in many animals. Hence, it is also called as anti-sterility vitamin. And based on its chemical structure, it is also called as tocopherol. Vitamin E maintains the epithelium of sex organs for proper reproductive function. Vegetable oils such as wheat germ oil, cottonseed oil, and sunflower oil are the rich sources of vitamin E. Severe deficiency symptoms are not seen in humans except for the lifespan of RBC is reduced. While in other animals like rats deficiency causes sterility in males and abortion in females. Vitamin K is called as philoquinone in plants while menaquinone in animals. Vitamin K is a fat soluble vitamin with specific function. It is required for the production of blood clotting factors essential for coagulation. 
It is synthesized by the intestinal bacteria of human beings also present in good amounts in leafy vegetables and cow milk. Deficiency of vitamin K is uncommon. However, in its deficiency, blood clotting is seriously affected. Individual bleeds heavily even for minor injuries. Let us now summarize the daily requirement levels of each vitamin in a tabulated form as suggested by Indian Council of Medical Research. Also, look at this table for a quick glance of all vitamins, their sources, chemical name and deficiency diseases. So students, today we have seen the various aspects of nutrition, right from carbohydrates to vitamins. In our next lesson, we shall learn about tropical diseases and first aid. But until then, take care of yourself and goodbye.